Once upon a time, dinosaurs ruled the earth. These were very large animals. The largest dinosaur weighed as much as 14 elephants. They were called the largest animals on earth. But today, this is not true. There is also a creature that outlasts the dinosaurs. The name of this animal that swims in the depths of the sea is blue whale. While it seems strange to hear that someone can be bigger than dinosaurs. In fact, the blue whale that makes the sea its home is the largest animal on earth. It is our fortune to see the blue whales swimming in the sea with our own eyes. It's really exciting because we have heard about dinosaurs but never seen them. Subscribe to Wild Animal TV before starting today's video to learn more about the blue whale and how to save it from extinction. Scientific name of blue whale, Balaenoptera musculus. Most blue whales range in size from 70 to 90 feet, and some blue whales can be as large as 108 feet. This means that if three school buses are parked one behind the other, their length is equal to the length of the blue whale. The weight of a blue whale is equal to 30 elephants. At the moment, the largest animal found on Earth is an elephant, and the weight of an elephant is about six tons. And in this case, the weight of a blue whale will be equal to 30 elephants, 180 tons. The weight will not be the same, and some blue whales can weigh up to 220 tons. Now you can understand how the blue whale got such a big name. It is unique in its own species. The female blue whale is slightly larger than the male blue whale. The blue whale leaves the Arctic Ocean and releases everything else in to the ocean. Antarctic Ocean, North Atlantic Ocean, North Pacific Ocean, South Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean. Because the Arctic Ocean is frozen for most of the year, blue whales do not like to live in the Arctic and there are five subspecies that release into separate oceans. Antarctic blue whale, North Atlantic and North Pacific blue whales, pygmy blue whale, Northern Indian ocean whale, South Pacific ocean whale. Among these five subspecies, the Antarctic blue whale is the largest, so it is called the largest animal on Earth. Does he know that he is the biggest animal on this Earth? He doesn't know how powerful. If he knew, he wouldn't be living such a simple life. He is awakened by the greed of the kingdom in the sea. Then there is a battle to establish the rule in the sea. A blue whale that is not quite like that, then what is a blue whale? To find out, watch this documentary from Wild Animal TV with us. Such a large animal was born from a four-legged animal that lived on land 48 million years ago. This ancient animal was 1.8 meters long and his name Pachychetus. The generation that came before him got used to living in water, and gradually these animals doored on. It evolved and grew to 4.5 meters in size, and with time, the blue whale was born. It is really surprising that the blue whale is also related to the hippo, although they look very different from each other, but they can be said to be close relatives. Because the progenitor animals were very similar to each other, the color of the blue whale is gray-blue, which looks blue underwater, so it is called the blue whale. It is the largest animal on earth as well as the largest mammal on earth. It looks like a fish in structure. So how did it become a mammal? To remove this confusion, we look for the difference between blue whale and fish. Just like blue whale is the largest mammal, similarly, whale shark is the largest fish. Whale sharks are cold-bladed because they are fish, while blue whales are warm-bladed because they are mammals and therefore have to maintain their temperature so they have a wave of fat on their underside, which we blubber say. This keeps the heart of the blue whale warm in cold weather, whereas fish do not need to do this. Blue whales breathe through lungs, while fish breathe through gills. And yes, blue whales have memory glands that provide milk to the young. While this is not the case in fish, this way you must have understood that the structure of the blue whale is like a fish. But actually, what is the difference between the blue whale and the fish? That the structure of the blue whale is such that it can survive in the water. The tail of the buell whale is used by the buell whale to move forward in the water. On his tail, flukes are found that are similar to human fingerprints that allow scientists to monitor blue whales. The length of the tail of the blue whale is 20 to 25 feet. The tongue of the blue whale weighs as much as an elephant, and its heart is no less. Its heart weighs about 180 kilograms, which is the size of a small car. This largest mammal's heart is also the largest in the animal kingdom. If you look at the way it exhales, you will jump with joy when it blows. When the whale comes to the surface of the water and exhales, a cloud of high-pressure air is formed, which is no less than a trick, which can rise up nine meter. In order to do this, the buell whale has two openings, just like the nose of us humans. These are on the top of the buell whale's head, which makes it possible for the buell whale to exchange oxygen very quickly. The buell whale is a mammal, so it has lungs. It breathes, so they have to come out of the water to breathe. That's why they have to come out of the water to breathe. It has to come out of the water to breathe every five or 15 minutes.
15 minutes. If necessary, it can stay in the water for a long time. It comes to the surface of the water and breathes quickly and goes into the water. A blue whale will only hunt large animals, is larger in weight and size. That is, they will be bigger in weight and size, but no, not at all. Blue whales are carnivores, but they do not prey on any big animals, but their favorite food is krill. It is a very small creature. Blue whales do not have teeth. Ball and plates replace teeth. They work like a tooth. This plates, it is made of protein, which makes it strong and flexible. Our hair and nails are made of the same protein. When the blue whale feels hungry, the blue whale moves to an area where there is a lot of krill and opens its big mouth at the right time. This causes a lot of water to go into the beulah whale's mouth along with the group of krill. And then the work begins, baleen plates, which filters the water and the krill, then the krill go into the stomach of the blue whale and expels the water out of the mouth. So how can the bee stomach of the blue whale get rid of them? The krill looks small, but it lives in a big group. They do this krill to avoid predators. In this case, not all krill can survive. In this case, the blue whale eats up to 1,000 kilos of krill. It eats up to 4,000 krill a day. Don't we know that someone should be bothered by their greed? Maybe we don't know how big a hand the blue whale has to balance the ecosystem. It keeps the ocean healthy by eating many marine animals. Their party waste is also very useful, which is very important for the plants in the sea. They are very important for the marine ecosystem. These are microscopic organisms that live in water that produce 70% of the oxygen on Earth, which means that if the marine ecosystem is out of balance, it can affect human life as well. How to protect the blue whale instead of hurting it? That's why Whale Day is celebrated on the third Sunday of February every year. If you get a chance to see the blue whale in passing, watch it from afar. We'll see you soon. Until then, please watch our other video. Thanks, like, and subscribe.